breaking news, guys. Wala Don Shello for President Muhammad Buhari's community as bandit don't take over his community. <laughs> he can't kill 24 in fresh attack. Hmm? If you see how they did this, you will weep for Nigeria. Welcome back to Prospect Janet TV. Thank you for always coming out here. If you're just joining us, I beg subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Share this video, let it go viral. Let Nigerians understand what is going on in the Nigerian political landscape. My people, in recent events in Castina State, uh, President Bola, President Muhammad Buhari's home state, a tragic assault by bandits has led to the loss of at least 24 lives, with numerous others sustaining injuries. The incident took place in uh, Owawawa, Sariki, Noma, a community within the Sabuwa local government area of the state. Most of the victims were identified as members of the local vigilante group who had bravely confronted the assassins. Report gathered during the weekend shed light on the gruesome attack, which lasted for about an hour. The bandits targeted four villages, namely Ongua, Sariki, Noma, Gangara, Atafi, and Kori. These are the villages, you know, they targeted within the week. Okay? They unleashed a wave of indiscriminate gunfire instilling fear and terror among the residents. According to a local security official interviewed by Chinese television, the assault was perceived as a reta retaliatory act by the bandits triggered by recent military operations against their hideout. The bandits sought ven uh, revenge by unleashing violence upon the unsuspecting villages. Following the harrowing attack on Thursday night, the chairman of Sabuwa Local Government Council, okay, confirmed the tragic aftermath. 23, 23 of the victims were laid to rest by Islamic traditions on Friday morning. The final victim of two, after succumbing to injuries was also given a a dignified barrier that had to emphasize the swift response of security agencies upon receiving distress calls about the impending attack. However, despite their efforts, the bandits managed to carry out their heinous art, leaving behind a trail of devastation. As of the time of reporting, the, the state police command had not issued any statement regarding the incident. The silence from the authorities had to the anguish and frustration felt by the affected communities. It is crucial to note that Sabuwa is identified as one of the eight most vulnerable uh, society uh, security frontline local government areas in Castina State. The escalating frequency of bandit activities in the region possesses a significant threat to the safety and well-being of the residents. In the wake of such a senseless tragedy, both state and federal authorities must intensify efforts to address the root cause of insecurity in the region. This includes uh, blustering security measures, enhancing intelligence gathering, and implementing proactive strategies to encounter the menace of banditry. Furthermore, there is a pressing need for community engagement and collaboration to strengthen local uh, re uh, resilience against such attacks. Empowering communities with the necessary resources and support can serve as a formidable defense against future incursions by criminal elements. As the affected communities mourn their losses 
and strive to rebuild in the aftermath of this horrific event, they deserve unwavering solidarity and support. From the government too, and the wider society, justice must be set for the innocent lives, senselessly taken, and measures must be implemented to prevent such uh, tragedies from reoccurring in the future. Because as it, as it is right now, it seems that even the Northerners, they have lost focus. Yes, uh, on Friday, the governor of Castina said that they don't even know how to go about this issue of banditry in the north, in the northern region, because some government officials and all that, they are in for it. They even security, he said, he also mentioned some security uh, 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 people. They are in for this. So how they won't take, you know, do this matter the way when he did. So this is really, really very devastating. You get it. In their parts that all these has all these are happening and all that. You get it. It's very, very, very devastating. You get me. So my people, there, there's a big problem. There's a big problem. There is a serious problem. There's a serious problem. I may make a drop out for you. Kindly drop your comments below the comment section. Don't forget to give us, you know, uh, uh, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. I beg you, like us now, please. Share this video. Let it go viral. Let Nigerians understand what is going on in the Nigerian political landscape. Thank you.